Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till you're home from the hospitals and back from over there. <laughs> Tonight, I'm seeing Don Wilson. Sergeant Lou Weiner wrote us from Germany asking command performance to shoot a hunk of college atmosphere at the old AFRS microphone. Well, we're now at good old Wirtle Bertle U tonight. And we find our new instructor looking over the place. She's got WU on her sweater, and the sergeant must have had woo on his mind. It's lovely Donna Lee. <laughs> But am I qualified to join your teaching staff? <laughs> and I believe I speak for every member of the faculty. Why, Jimmy? I uh, don't think you'll find the courses very hard, Donna. We cooperate with our fellow workers. In fact, I, for one, will be glad to come over every night and help you with your lectures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd want to. Uh, why? Do you know Latin? No, but I know Jiu-Jitsu. Oh. Well, now, Donna, we've got to meet the faculty of the board. The faculty, of course, they have to approve your joining the school. Oh, no. Gentlemen, this is Donna Reed. She's awaiting your approval. Gentlemen, what is your decision? Okay, kid, you're in. <laughs> now, I'll assign one of our students to show you around the campus. How about that cute student over there? I'll call him. Hey, you! You with the low forest. Come on over here. Come in, Jimmy. Well, my forehead's too low. I keep tipping over. Young man, what is your name? Gary Moore. Doesn't it make you sick? <laughs> now, Moore, if you'll just show Miss Reed, Miss Donna Reed, around the campus. Oh, she's a newcomer, huh? Well, bless her little high school background. <laughs> <laughs> Now we start with the script. Donna, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Donna, I'm just about to tell you all the answers. Now, uh, first, have, have you found a place to live? Why, well, no, I... Uh, housing conditions are very tight. In fact, I myself am sharing a room with a termite. Does he like it? He must. He's already eaten two of the walls. <laughs> but let's wander around now and look over the campus. Now, uh, right over there is our beautiful fish pond, donated by the class of 1907. <laughs> 1907-1907, I can post it, read it either way, it makes no sense. <laughs> That's the fish pond, donated by the class of 1907. Yes. Uh, who's that old man standing next to us? Yeah, that's the lifeguard, donated by the class of 1908. <laughs> kind of an old character. Now look, down there, down there is the building where I got my knowledge of history. And down there is the ivy-covered building where I got my knowledge of science. Uh, where did you get the knowledge of anatomy? At Hollywood and Vine, it's windy down there. <laughs> That's a dirty laugh. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Donna, what are, you, uh, what are you looking at? Do you see something? Yes, this is an interesting piece of sculpture. Uh, whose stuff is this? That is Jay Russell, the founder of our college. <laughs> Jay, uh, Jay Russell Wordlebertle is his name. He's, uh, he's a part-time eel smuggler from Pismo Beach. <laughs> He founded his college here in 1608. He sent a ferry wagon here full of books, and those books formed the foundation of our school. Amazing. Yes. Later, however, we got prosperous, and we took the books out of the foundation and put in bricks. <laughs> it's better that way. And it was, it was, it was Jay Russell who gave the school its shining Latin motto, the motto we all try to live up to. Semper seratus per gratia cum laud ad astra ad summa fidelis e unum. <laughs> Never slap a lady while she's chewing tobacco. <laughs> so a lot of cleaning fluid that way. <laughs> not, not only that, but old Jay Russell himself personally laid the cornerstone of this building. He laid the cornerstone himself? Of a certainty. In fact, if you look closely, you can still see one of his legs sticking out of the cement. <laughs> How charming. Oh, 
Wait, no, come see Honey. What is it, Gary? Don Wilson? Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is this is homecoming week, you know, football season. You know, some colleges get childish about football games. Now, one college even burns a dummy of the other school's coach. But you don't burn a dummy, huh? Of course not. We burn their coach. <laughs> Listen, we have an even better chance of winning. This year, we're burning our own coach. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, play, I played football myself, you know. Was it exciting? Uh, I'll never forget when my big moment came. I rushed out on the field. The signals were called. There was a shift to the left, a shift to the right, and I plunged through the line, dodging, weaving, squirming. On and on I ran. The goal line was 10 yards away, 5 yards. Then I was across it. Touchdown! Gary, yeah, you're wonderful. Yeah. See, if I could only do it when the other team is on the field. <laughs> I had, a, I had a great position on the team, though. What was your position? I was first baseman. First baseman? But that isn't football. I know. Well, then that's... Wrong rule book. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> rule book. I'll say yeah. it again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Doesn't Wordle Wordle have anything like an uh, old ox road? Don't you have a vacation there? Don't you have a... <laughs> Don't well, you have a, a, a lover's lane? Gary, where would you go alone uh, if you want to be alone with a girl? A girl you like. Uh, a girl who needs to be held close and, and hugged and, and kissed. Why, to the ping pong room. <laughs> Gary, you take a love lone girl to the ping pong room? Naturally. Then I can make and still have fun at the same time. <laughs> When I don't understand myself. <laughs> Take it down there. We have have fun at the same time. Tell you want to you want to see more of the campus? No, Gary, go up this dark romantic path with me. Yeah, that's that's too exciting. <laughs> Ooh, it, it's dark up here. I bet you can learn things here. Yes, lots of boys and girls come up this lane to do their homework. What's that? A couple of kids studying freshman physique. I'll read that line again. A couple of kids studying freshman physics. Those kids over there are studying freshman Greek. That's freshman geography. <laughs> Postgraduate work. <laughs> Miss Shaw. Oh, geez, Miss. Same as parents aren't the type to devour their young, you know. <laughs> Miss Reed, what, what, what are you going to study here? Well, what degrees are you studying for? Oh, a BA, an LLD, a PhD, and an MA. Well, that's quite impressive. No, I don't know. Put them all together and what do they spell? Belgmusmus. <laughs> Now, Miss Reed, when, when you get settled here, I'll be glad to carry your books home from school. Gary, do you carry other girls' books home from school? They used to see my room. Clear up to the ceiling, nothing but books. <laughs> but I, I'll give you a tip, Miss Reed. You'll be happiest here. You should go right out like I did and join a sorority. You joined... <laughs> It's a word, it's for girls. What do you think I'm for, ducks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, by the way, the girls here, the girls here don't go around wearing sweaters all the time. But I do. Now, Miss Reed, would you go to a fancy dance with a sloppy Joe? I'm busy tonight, Gary, but it's awfully sweet of you to ask me. <laughs> oh, oh you, you can't get my goat. I'm, I'm a man of the world. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, aren't you going to light it? What, and scorch the chocolate? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, here we are, all alone in Lover's Lane. Ah, uh, huh? <laughs> Gary, Gary, there are things I like about you. 
Jones in the carnival scene. Oh, don't be back for the fun of you. <laughs> the fine girl, go ahead. Well, other men are aggressive, mm -hmm. as well as muscular, soft, determined, and manly. Yes. Yeah. You're so different. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gary, we are all alone in this dark and dramatic path. Let's hold hands. Yeah, I don't like to hold hands with girls. <laughs> then, then put your arm around my waist. Yeah, I don't like to put my arm around a girl's waist. <laughs> now, I'm going to make notes of this whole thing and then later have my head examined. <laughs> I am a real jerk in this, you know. <laughs> Fourteen character Clinton and I'm right there. <laughs> but, but, Don, I, I've got to go now. I want to work on my book. I'm writing the story of my adult life. I've got a title for that story. Oh, really? What is it? The Green Years. Look at it. <laughs> I, I think of a good answer for that, but look who's in the music room down there. Who? Our most talented student. She's rehearsing a number for the annual show. Boy, what a great singer. Oh, I know her. It's Connie Haynes. Connie! <laughs> What song are you working on? It's called California Sunbeam, and I just made a record of it. Oh, yeah, that record's so good, I learned every beat of it by heart. Really? How does it go? Why, like this. <laughs> I just got a note asking me to report immediately to the president of the college. I, I wonder what's wrong. Well, there you are, President Ishkabibble. He's 
student more. Baldy. <laughs> Student Moore, it has come to my attention that you are about to graduate, and I want to see you about a very important matter. What is it, Betsy? Uh, watch your language. <laughs> How long have you been a student here at good old Wordle Birdle? Four years. Before that, I was in high school. Oh, yes, high school. Good old high school. I'll bet high school taught you a lot. It certainly did. I never forget how to open beer bottles with my teeth. <laughs> well, Moore, you have learned a lot here at college, too. You are an educated man. I certainly am. Now I open whiskey bottles with my teeth. <laughs> now listen closely, Moore. Wordle Birdle has spent a lot of time and energy making a man out of you. Huh? We're not going to let you down. Now that you're about to go out into the world, we are going to teach you about girls. Oh, no, not that. I'm sorry, Moore. It is a required course. We, <laughs> we, we cannot let you go out into the world unprepared. <laughs> You've got to be able to get the first base with a girl. The first base? I can't even sit in the bleachers. <laughs> exactly. So let us cover the field of women by delving into history. Now, you take Cleopatra, who was bit by a snake. Snake being spelt S N A K E, but sneak being smelt S N E. <laughs> spelt S N E K E. The E sometimes pronounced like A, so snake becomes sneak and sneak snake. Now, now a sneak sneaks and so does a snake sneak. So whichever sneaks up on you, they both snuck. <laughs> What about Cleo? I just said she was bit by a snake. Oh, what a foolish snake to bite such a beautiful girl. Yeah, he was a silly ass. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me, tell me, Plexi, where, where did they bury Cleopatra? Bury her? Uh, in a pyramid right alongside the mummy of King Ptolemy. Oh, how do you know it was Ptolemy's mummy? My mummy done Ptolemy. <laughs> Back to the beautiful dames, you know, this could bring back silent radio. Yes, yes. Now, <laughs> now, Lady Godiva was a beautiful woman. She was the first woman jockey. Oh, the first woman jockey. Did she ever win? No, but she certainly showed. <laughs> now, now we take Venus. President Sibibble, Venus was a myth. Myth or misses don't make no difference. <laughs> Stop lifting. I'm sorry. Certainly. <laughs> then there was Julia. Well, look, Julia was not a real woman either. She lived between the covers of a book. She did? Yes. Skinny, wasn't she? <laughs> now, now, speaking of women, I have an essay here in regards to which I would like to get off fame entitled Women. <laughs> yes, yes, they make better wives and mothers than anybody. <laughs> President Sibiba, what is your definition of women? Well, now, women is just like automobiles. They look better in a good paint job. You can get along better with them if you use the right kind of oil, but sometimes you've got to choke them to get them started. <laughs> I, I don't think you know too much about women. Well, in that case, I'll turn you over to your instructor for your refresher course in lovemaking. Hmm? But before I let you go, I have a little poem here I'd like to dedicate to you. Oh, a poem? Well, yes, how, yes. Does, how does it, it go? It goes like this. I wish I was a little egg, away up in a tree, sitting in my little nest as bad as I could be. And I wish that you would come along and stand beneath the tree, and I would up and bust myself and splatter you with me. <laughs> Well, we're mighty glad to have you take our course, Jerry. Well, gosh, son, 
I mean, Dean. <laughs> Dean, Don. It must be wonderful to be able to make love to a, to a beautiful woman. Beautiful women? Bah, they're a dime a dozen. Yeah? Well, here's a nickel. I ain't busy. <laughs> Now, Jerry, really, women, women are really overrated. Yeah? Take away her high heel shoes, her silk stockings, and her fancy dresses, and what have you got? <laughs> no coaching from the audience, please. <laughs> I don't know what they got, but can I peek? <laughs> Now, let's start with the correct approach. Last time you saw a girl, what did you do? I ran like heck. That's wrong. Well, I, I couldn't help it. I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran. You almost caught her, too. <laughs> now, Gary, you must always remember that a woman is a fragile creature. You must mm -hmm. be approached with tact and delicacy. Mm -hmm. When you approach a girl, what do you say? How about it, kid? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> no, no. Now, you should use the Charles Boyer type. Say to her, little gem, visible. Little bay, storm red. What does that mean? How about it, kid? No. <laughs> oh, ain't I a dog, though? <laughs> now, more, remember that the best way to interest a woman is to be cold, hard to get, aloof. Uh, huh? Well, just imagine... Four times loose. tonight I've had that line. I don't know what it means yet. Huh? Huh? Shows my new fillings, though, if you know. Uh, Let's uh, get down uh, to the business at hand, which is uh, very important. Uh, huh? Now, Gary... <laughs> Gary? Yeah? Just imagine a luscious, delectable blonde that has just walked into the room. She says... Kiss me. And you say no. She says, kiss me. You say no. I must be nuts. <laughs> she says, but you're so strong, so handsome. What do you know? She's nuts, too. <laughs> Remember, Gary, she's the most beautiful woman, woman you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to... Fat, huh? <laughs> she just wants you to crush her in her arms. Mm -hmm. She says... Please, darling, kiss me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you just stand there motionless. I'm handcuffed, huh? <laughs> no, you've got willpower. Oh, yeah. But again, she pleads with you. She implores you to kiss her. <laughs> no. All oh, but the poor girl is broken hearted. Please, please, no. <laughs> well, all right. Too late. She's gone. Where? <laughs> Where'd she go? Relax, that was just a dry rub. <laughs> now, we'll try you on the real thing. Uh -huh. Oh, Miss Reed, Miss Reed, will you come in, please? Whoa. Hello, Dean Wilson. Who's the kid with the head like a fur bearing doorknob? <laughs> Why, why, Donna Reed, you know me. We, we met on the campus. That's right. Now I remember. <laughs> now, Gary, you've got to make love to Donna Reed. She's our new teacher. Our new teacher? Oh, I can't make love to her. I can't make teach you a love. I can't make love to a teacher. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure of that, honey? <laughs> I guess I could study night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you teach? Actually, Osculation? What's, what's osculation? It's this. <laughs> well, stop mugging me and tell me what osculation is. <laughs> I just told you. It's... Well, all right, all right, but what's osculation? Far more, you're utterly stupid. Yes, I am, and if possible, I intend to remain this stupid for all <laughs> Well, Gary, you make love to Donna, and I'll coach you. Show her you're a man of the world. Now sit on the sofa and get acquainted with each other. Hello, lovely doggy, lonely heart. Go on, go on, act sophisticated. Say something. Uh, have a 
cigar? <laughs> No, no, Gary. Sweep her off her feet with brilliant conversation. Make your words sparkle. Dazzle her with witty phrases. Oh, witty stuff, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Donna. Yes. Is it raining out? <laughs> no. Stop, huh? Yes. This conversation is flowing like tapioca. Now, here. Here, Gary, let me show you. Donna, my sweet. My love. How do you like that? It's my lesson and he does my homework. Well, now, Gary, Gary, do you get the idea? So far, that's all I'm getting, yes. Uh, now, watch this closely. Here's the another microphone technique. is further away than Pomona, you know. <laughs> Here's another technique. Now, watch this. Ah, Donna, my gem. My jewel. Kiss me again and again and again. Oh, oh, please, please, Don, you're shocking that sweet, innocent little girl. He still, he knows what he's doing. Well, gang, I'm afraid that's just about the last subject on the curriculum for tonight. Yep, Don, it's time to close up the schoolroom for another week. But it's been fun teaching school tonight, hasn't it, Don? I'll say and thanks to all you fellas for asking me in tonight. Those letters did the trick, didn't they, Gary? Yes, ma'am, they did. And they keep giving us the cue. We'll keep trying to give them what they want to hear. It's just a way for us to thank you guys for what you're doing for us. Good luck, fellas. This is your schoolman, Donna Reed, saying for all of us, Gary Moore, Connie Haynes, Jessica Bibble, and Don Wilson. Good night. <laughs> The program was arranged with the aid of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. <laughs>